Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mokalover, and today we're going to continue playing as that Russian SFSR. So, as you can tell, Europe is mostly done at the moment. So, I took some extra time, and I... Eh, not too much extra time, maybe about a month or two. But, uh, I finished off France. Thank God, France was a pain in the butt, but they're done. I have a lot of armies moving around. My next step for Europe is to get rid of the Swiss Confederation, which obviously oppresses many of its workers here. I mean, you know, just naturally they have no manpower because they oppress their workers all the time. But we must save the proletariat of the Swiss people. So that means that'll be the last country within continental Europe that is not part of our great proletariat mutual assistance pact. And also, I've been thinking, you know what, we might need to take out Yemen, Oman, Afga Afghanistan, ooh. The Russian invasion of Afghanistan, ooh, that's kind of interesting, it's kind of fun. Uh, Tibet as well, so, we do have a lot of things to do. However, someone did mention, Pedro, uh, in the comments below. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm running out of manpower, as you can tell from the low manpower button, so I decided to eventually, I will use my puppet's manpower to make new divisions. Obviously, I have an infantry template 12 here. Uh, it's pretty much exactly the same one I have. I added on support rocket artillery, but I will eventually start to phase out our own divisions here. Just because I have so many already. Like, I have so many divisions, it's not even funny. That I don't mind getting rid of some of these divisions in exchange for manpower. Uh, or exchange for more manpower so that we can use less of our own and use more of our puppets. So, there's that. And I eventually... Within the next year or two, I will annex the Baltic Socialist Republic because they're my puppet. And we've been doing really well with them that they've really become, became more and more closely aligned with our Trotskyist ideology. So I will annex them within a year or two, so we get a little more manpower and factories that way. But let's go ahead and discover where everyone's at. So you're in Korea. You guys are going to be the ones that try to invade Korea, not Korea, Japan. So, yeah. Also, right now, I am using the armament effort because we are lacking a ton of military factories at the moment for heavy bombers. Actually, you could probably go down there. Um, yeah, so we need to make more military factories regardless. Ooh, I need to make more heavy tanks. Yeah, do that. So, yeah. Mm, you can probably lower that by 10. Yeah, I could use more modern tanks. But these armies, this army, this guy here, it says India, but it's really going to be Japan. Uh, let's see, you are based in India still, actually. I don't mind if you go ahead and surround Tibet. We could take them out and add them to our faction, because they also oppress their own people. But we really have to start thinking about invading the United Kingdom. Apparently, the British are trying to invade Ireland, like normal, but that's not really going well for them. Uh, other than that, we are trying to finish up Spain, so we can close off the Mediterranean, secure the Mediterranean fully, completely... Even though they have invaded Tunis. Uh, yeah, which is really good. And also South Africa is no more. And the last vestige of Allied lands in Africa is Free France. This little portion right here. So that's pretty good. Pretty darn good. These guys are going to surround Liberia. Am I justifying on them already? No, I'm not. Oh, 30. Okay, sure, why not? And then, if I could get Brazil in my faction, that would be great. So we could actually transport soldiers through here. I want to add them into my alliance, but if not, I will have to find some sort of way for us to get into the old, the new world. If I have to declare war on Brazil, so be it. I don't want to, but tr going to try to naval invade anywhere is going to be difficult. Obviously, I have to take out the UK first, so we really got to focus on that. Ooh, there's an American fleet here, or at least a carrier and its planes. Uh, take out the Allies, invade Iceland, Denmark, maybe invade Canada up here. That's going to be a pain in the butt. I really think, though, wait. Gr Greater East Asian Coat Prosperity. Oh, what the heck. El Salvador. Come on, man. What the heck. Well, at least you distract the Allies for a little bit. If I have to invade Brazil because we find out that they're actually Marxist-Leninists instead of leninist Trotskyists or just Trotskyists, so be it, you know. The revolution does not stop for any people who believe in false communist beliefs. But, anyways. Uh, it's 1948. Let's see. Do I have anything for industry? We already did everything for industry. I could use more fuel, I guess. Or I could get more fuel, but we don't really need to do that. We're doing logistic companies. 
What about our ships? Are we good on ships? Eh, we could do probably better super heavy armor piercing shells. Uh, fire methods, more battleship heavy and light attack. Eh, screw it, why not? We got four nukes, which is good. I will eventually take out the Japanese ships. Japanese fleet, eventually. I'll take a quick look at this. Go ahead and just merge these together. I have two subs here already, level four. We have subs over here operating in this area of Greece. I don't want to use these subs. There's only two of them for now. And these are our old, not super great ships. So, because... Oh, and I also have some extra divisions here. Actually, what is your... 21 combat width isn't that great. But, let us see. We're going to need a lot of planes to invade the English Channel. Hmm. Well, you can begin that. Add another 100. Do I have it? Oh, goodness. We got a lot of planes we got to get rid of. Fighters. I have no extra heavy fighters still. We need a lot of support equipment, actually. So, support equipment, modern tanks, and... Actually, we should have some extra heavy fighters. Let's get rid of some of these guys first, though. Carrier fighters. We don't need them at the moment. Fighters. We don't believe in those. Medium maritime. I don't believe in those either. And who wants to rise up against me? Romania. Sorry, Romania. I'm not going to let you do that just yet. Oh, here's a lot of crappy medium bombers. Don't need that. Cool. Calls to a librarian workers. Great. Oh, that's not good. But this is nice. Very good. Nikolai, you got anything for me? Nope. All right, then. Let's see. Merit oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and get a lot of maritime bombers around here. Uh, we've already beaten up a huge chunk of the English Navy. Or the British Navy, I suppose. So, this shouldn't be too bad. Uh, actually, don't do that. Just focus on air superiority. That would be great. This part of the English Channel will be fine. The UK, though, has quite a large number of manpower. Ships aren't gr really great for them. They have quite a few divisions. I'm thinking I'm probably... I don't really want to nuke the enemies too much. But if I have to, so be it. If I try a naval invasion, I will have to have one massive naval invasion. I'll probably infiltrate northern England. Either here or somewhere in southern Scotland. So that's probably what we'll end up doing. Let's see. Yeah, a couple... Enemy convoy, so be it, blah, blah, blah. Malaga is done. Uh, we've almost kicked these guys out of Spain, which is awesome. Really, really awesome. Nice. Also, a lot of the reason why we're running out of Coast Guard divisions... Ooh, giant picture again, hello. I would say it's because we're trying to make a lot of these divisions. So let's go ahead and reduce the amount of Coast Guard we need. 15, let's make it down to 12. There we go. Not that much more manpower back, but, you know, it still is a source of manpower. And we can get more divisions from our coastal guys, our puppets. Yeah, puppets. Uh, you know what? Since I'm here anyways, I'm just going to mark this and transfer this back to you. That just, in my opinion, would make more sense. So, since I can't really use that manpower anyways, which is fine. Good. I guess I have soldiers back there in Malaga, so be it. And Romania. Don't forget Romania. Uh, what, Romania, what do you want? Yeah, Transylvania. You could use more infrastructure there. Alright. I will have to use my fleet. I am currently making some Marines, but I'm making some special Marine divisions. I added on Marine 1, which, as you can see, is tank. So I've got, like, 40 combat width. This is 14 Marine battalions with 6 modern tank divisions to give them a lot of soft attack, but a ton of breakthrough. So they use quite a, quite a bit of fuel, actually. But they have 29% hardness, 40 combat width, reliability is through the roof, pretty awesome recon, tons of soft attack like I said, defense is amazing, piercing is really good, armor is good, entrenchment is not bad either. Uh, supply situation is 2.37, so which isn't great, but you know, it could be better. So we're making some marines, I'm still making an extra tank division, actually we could probably cut that down, we don't need probably two extra tank divisions at the moment, so there's that. Also I will want to let you know, that I will be gone for the next few days at the time of this recording. So, I will be recording the next couple episodes ahead of time. So, by Tuesday. Tuesday will be an episode where I can really take your feedback. So, I apologize for any inconvenience. But it's on a trip that I really don't care about taking. But I'm being forced on anyways. So, 
Poland canceled one lease. We've been actually killing quite a few ships. Nice. American subs. American carrier. Nice. Very good. We lost a plane. So another American carrier. Ah, oh, I love trapping American ships and allied ships in the Mediterranean. Awesome. Another American heavy cruiser. Very good. There's a lot of American ships all over here. Also, we will be navally invading different areas within the Mediterranean. Let's go ahead and get started on that. Yakov, you've been doing a pretty good job. I need you to go ahead and begin, perhaps, a naval invasion of Corsica. Let's do that. Let's go from Nice to there. Take a couple more infantry divisions, Livorno. Go to there. And then one, two, three. Everyone but the motorized will invade Corsica. Great. And I am saving my nukes for whoever might need them. Uh, this is not good. Hopefully we can figure that out pretty soon. Pretty quickly. Speed it up maybe a little bit more. Uh, nice. Ah, an American battleship. Very good, guys. Very, very good. Uh, how is this situation over here? It's looking pretty good. Not gonna lie. You guys, uh, let's see. Oh, whoops, crap. I should not have done that. Raise that up to 400, and we'll split you up. And you have all been split up. Nice. Much easier. Take that button. Well, do this. See if you can find anything over here, because that's where we're mostly going to be navally invading. Great, great, great. Oh, an American light cruiser. Very good. Very, very good. I do have my three fleets here. I just, I'm, I'm a little paranoid to be honest with you guys, that I will lose some of my ships that we've been recently making, which are actually pretty good ships. So I just don't want to lose my ships to enemy planes, which what we're doing right now to our enemies' ships. Really don't want to lose them at this current moment. I'm basically just kind of waiting to invade Liberia. Ooh, light cruiser, nice. Switzerland and stuff like that, and maybe Tibet. We'll see what happens. Firefighting drills good. Just go for the next one. Chance to receive critical hit as well as effects of sustain. Critical hits good. Convoys gone. Planes gone. Good. 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 What? How many ships does the U.S. currently have? Marines two. Nice. Immediately go for Marines three. The CSA, the Communist States of America, have quite a bit of manpower on extensive conscription. Quite a few ships. Definitely less than what they started with. When the war began. Alright. Very good. Oh. Ah, it's another destroyer sunk. Ah, it looks like there's some Mexican ships here too. Alright, boys and girls. I will transfer some of these planes, some of these ships, down to the Mediterranean. I don't want to do it now, but you know what? Let's do it anyways. I wonder if we can actually do that here. But rebase in Gibraltar. I wonder if we can actually maybe do a little bit of a battle here. Uh, before we begin. Okay, we got air cover here and the Tyrian Sea. That's good. Improved equipment conversion. That's alright, I guess. Support companies. Anything for 1948. Um, we already did mechanized. Mountaineers could be good, but eh. Naval doctrine, we're done. Air doctrine, we're done. Air stuff, we have actually quite a bit of work to do still, but whatever. Engineering, 1948. Industry, obviously, is already good. Oh, we can do this. More steel. Oh, let's get this. More leg infantry, soft attack, and reconnaissance. Can I... Oh, these things need to get finished up. We have... We're doing... We're making a lot of things here, which is awesome. Hmm. Looks okay. What, is it just the ships that we could replace? Super heavy battleship hull. Yeah, that's what I thought. Nice. Three more ships gone. Our fleet, our good fleet, a really good fleet, is making their way down here. And Mexican destroyer says bye-bye. And go ahead and do that. Mm, you only have... Repa oh, you're repairing. Okay, that's fine. Just go ahead and repair. I'm fine with that for now. Uh, Barracuda was lost. You know what? Do this area too. Do both. I will. Uh, you do this as well as this. Oh, it's shut down. 27 enemy planes. Wow. Maybe they were trying to shoot our ships, perhaps, or bomb our ships. Nice. These guys are moving around. I mean, I don't think we're really encountered very much here, but you never know. 
You guys are repairing. Ah, uh, the battleship needed a little bit of repairs. That's fine. Actually. Oh, you already have seven? Ah, uh, it might be too much. Take one off. Nice. Very nice. Ooh. Another enemy light cruiser. Uh, go ahead, you. You know, instead, just go and do naval invasion support. Oh, you're going to move ahead, and then we can hopefully try to invade the area. Cool, Liberia, you're going to be gone now. Uh, you have, like, a division, maybe? Wait for this extreme lag. Take a sip of tea that I have here. Ah, okay, I lied. That was two sips, and Liberia only has one division. Awesome. Oh, the USS California. Early heavy battleship was Elgano Cinco. Ooh, look at that. Norman, nice. Oh, and I need to tell you guys to go. Go ahead. You have a lot of battleships that give you a ton of coverage. So, I don't expect a lot of divisions to be here. They might have actually already died. But, regardless. Awesome. Good job, guys. Just push your way down here. Oh, library is gone. What a surprise. Cali Cagliari, go ahead. Just push down that way. Oh, there's a couple enemy ships there. Nice. Very nice. We had nuclear power done. Uh, 79 days. Better radar, because why not? Ooh. Nice. Very good. Very good. Oh, and then American Destroyer. American Light Cruiser. Very nice. Quite a few American ships. Or, I guess, allied ships, really. Awesome. The Mexican Heavy Cruiser has been sunk. Didn't know Mexico could even afford a heavy cruiser. If anything, I would have probably made a battle cruiser instead of a heavy cruiser, but whatever. I'm not Mexico, at least in this playthrough. Yeah, just go ahead and come down here. Take these islands, and then we'll we'll go ahead and invade probably Malta, and then Crete, and stuff like that. As we are currently waiting for... Uh, oh, look at that. Some more Mexican ships sunk. As we are currently waiting for... Um, what are we waiting for? Invasion of Switzerland, invasion of Tibet, invasions all alike of that. I don't want to invade Brazil before I can invade the UK, though. So, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to spread you guys out so you don't suck up too much supply, and then I'll do the same thing over here. You come down here or something. Very nice. Switch you guys over to patrols. And actually, you know what? We don't need all these guys doing this. Take half of you guys. Come from... Oh, I don't know. Here? And invade Malta. You should be able to do that pretty... Not badly. Very nice. Uh, what is our stockpile of strategic bombers? Because I'm thinking... I don't think I can do this. Or at least very well. Uh, give me half of these guys. Send them over here. Send them to the ranch. And go to the Northeast Sea. I want to kind of bomb the hell out of the British industry, but I don't think that's really going to work. I don't. I only have so many strategic bombers and things like that. Oh, actually, you guys can come, actually come up here. That's actually probably better. Hmm. We could begin doing that though. Hmm. Tea. It's good for you, supposedly. Go ahead and do that. I wonder if I could destroy the amount of supplier oil that the UK is receiving. Could I effectively ground all their planes to a halt? If they can't get any ships in, any convoys, any literal convoy trade stuff in. Oh, I can actually nuke them already. Holy crap. Um, You know what? Just for fun, let's go ahead and... Oh, we can't nuke London. Dang it. 24 to 25. If I nuke them now, that would actually hurt their industry a little bit. If I'm going to hurt them, I'm going to do them all at one time so that they will have some serious problems with recovery. And if I nuke them at all the same time, then that means that I can effectively destroy as many factories at one time as humanly possible. And then get some strategic bombers and just ram, destroy the living crap out of them. That's probably what I'm going to do. Uh, you guys... Oh, we shot down quite a few American... Or, I guess, Canadian planes right there. Mm, go ahead and repair. Some of you guys probably got hit. That's fine. I just need our soldiers to, uh... Take these guys out. We're taking quite a while, though. 
Romanian soldiers, can you do this? No, you can't. Okay, then. Nice, very nice. Ten American planes. Yeah, that's what I thought. And that's why we're trying to get rid of these areas. Come on, guys. They're starving for supplies. You guys, you guys can do this. Switzerland, how much longer? It's 30 days. Tibet? I'm not justifying on you. 30 days. Cool. Afghanistan? Oh my goodness, 300 days. Yeah, how about not for that? You guys, 24 divisions might be enough, might not. How many people live in Tibet? Eh, that's not bad, but... Oh, monasteries elated. That's kind of interesting. Nothing like a fascist Tibet to make you happy in the, in the day. Alright, guys, come on. Yeah, these guys aren't doing super well. Go ahead. Actually, instead... Uh, I need the Tyrian Sea. Um... So if you guys here, I need you to come to the Central Mediterranean. I want you to do naval invasion support. I want you to do this. That'll be good. And it looks like I'm still out of supplies. Am I not making any support equipment? I thought I was. I am, but I'm not... I am making quite a bit, actually. That's not bad. That's really not bad, so... Oh, what has happened here? Come on, get out of the screen. Ooh, we sunk an Ameri a British convoy. Followed up with an American destroyer. That's where the American thing came in. And the Mexicans are invading Ireland. Cool. How much longer do we have to wait for those Marines? Go ahead and add two more on there. I need those guys. Do that. That would be great. Come down here to medium. Move you up to upgrades. I'm going to get rid of two more. Because we already have 278 Coast Guard divisions. Which is pretty good, in my opinion. Blow the Suez Canal. No thanks. War support could be going a little better. We do have some enemy bombings. Um, ba -da -dum -bum 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 -bum. Fraternal Republic in Denmark. Ah, they need to be more communist. Actually, we have Poland, who's Falingus Poland. Oh, no. It was Falingus Poland at the beginning, but now the, the Polish People's Republic. Much better. Much, much better. More and more communism, please. Trotskyism. Wait. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. You're, you're my puppet, but you're fully democratic. I don't approve. Daily democracy support? No. No. No, this this cannot happen. No, Denmark, Denmark, baby, come on. This is not cool. I thought I told you, Denmark. Democracy is for losers. It's all about that. Oh my God, what the heck happened here? Uh, let's boost party popularity. Let's do that. Uh, well, you know what? I'll just take one of you guys off. Yeah, she used a few divisions. The British are coming. The British are coming. Hope you guys, if you're American, yesterday had a good July the 4th. So, yeah. Oh, a couple of Norwegian destroyers. Nice. Good, good, good. Keep going, keep going. And can we finally take these guys out yet? Come on. No, we have, like, no strength. All right, where, where are my planes? I need some planes here. Get 800 planes. I don't think we need air, any more air superiority. And I actually don't even have room for these guys on Corsica. But we do have radar. That's actually kind of nice. We have radar here. It's only level 1. actually doesn't help us at all, but... Go ahead and come to Sardinia. And just bomb the hell out of the French. Good. And these guys will be taken to Malta as well. When we need them. Oh my goodness, the supply here is so bad. I mean, we're not going to win, obviously, but whatever. Ooh, lower the autonomy of the Balt... Ooh, we can make them integrated. Yeah, oh, heck, heck yeah. Thank you very much. Um, To further please ourselves and these people over here, let us continue doing this. That'll be good. You guys really aren't getting that much more supplies. So I'm going to take you off. I'm going to throw you over here. And I can't improve the infrastructure here because, well... The enemies have the ports. And you know what? I'm going to do that. You probably could use maybe a little bit more supply through here. So get that division out. The supply problem won't be as bad. Actually, you have 20% of bad supply. So makes sense. And who wants to rebel? Probably the Baltics. Yes, I do. And we've kicked the British back out. Good. Good, good, good. Happy 1949, everyone. Happy 1949. Oh, some British ships are, are located around here. Good to know. Very good to know, actually. 
go ahead and take 400 more naval bombers. Go ahead and add them to here. Because they will be extremely necessary. And we can go to war with this Sviss. Let's go ahead and pile on. And we can go to war with the Tibetans. Great job, guys. I, yeah, I'll probably end up, won't end up invading the UK right now. Seeing as we still find some British ships here and there. And I'm trying to invade things in the Mediterranean. So, uh, you guys are good to go. Let's go ahead and go to war with them. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Wait, who is that? The Tib Tibetan Empire is improving relations with the Dominican Republic. Wait. Okay, so they, even before I declared war on them, the Tibetan Republic joined the Japanese faction. Okay, then. I want you guys. Uh, be balanced when you attack, but something tells me if the Swiss divisions already look kind of not ready to fight, and they're out of man- Oh, what is that? Sw Swiss conscription, that's interesting. Yeah, I don't think this would be too much of a problem. But you know, you never know, I could be wrong. Alright, more technology. Uh, defense and breakthrough sounds good to me. Oh yeah, we definitely encountered some more ships here. Nice, one of those British heavy light cruisers was sunk. Two more British ships sunk. This is honestly becoming really pathetic. That I, I don't want to even do this part. Come on, guys. I don't know how your supply is this bad. It really doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, you're still here. And the tanks are taking some stuff up, too. But it looks like you're actually doing better now since that one division moved over there. If you can, go ahead and invade. And... You know what? With this type of strength, I think we could... Yeah, I think we're going to win this one now. Nice. Liberia, I'm not even going to check on the Swiss right now, because I want to see Cagliari fallen, or to fall. Good, thank God. Thank God. Alright, go ahead. I'm going to instantly start planning the next invasion. One, two... Uh, actually, you know what? Just do it like this. Take half. We shouldn't need too many divisions to attack Palma de Mallorca. But I could be wrong. Go ahead and just do the same thing, but invade... There. We didn't need too many divisions. Awesome. And then we'll invade Crete. We'll invade Cyprus. And that'll be the end of the Mediterranean as we know it. Shot down quite a few American planes. I I guess I accidentally touched my computer a little too hard with my foot. That uh, it started yelling at me. Anyways. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. just stay here and invade Crete. There's actually probably a couple divisions here on Crete. So take Chani if you can. Nice. A British light cruiser. The Brits are running out of places to hide their ships. Uh, Switzerland, Switzerland is, itself isn't looking too bad. Not too bad, guys. Not too bad. Ooh, light cruiser sunk. Good. Oh, we lost the plane. And the Brits are... God, why are you always trying to invade me, guys? You... This is such a terrible relationship to be in. You're so abusive. God. And this is why I have to invade them probably in the next episode. Um, That's a lot of enemies in one area. What is the manpower of Greece? It can't be that good, can it? Yeah, it's not that great. You know what? For an honorary t timing, I will go ahead and nuke that area, but we'll see what happens first. Oh, there... Oh, is that how many ships that they might have here? Um... Go ahead and patrol first. I can take you off. Why don't you do this area too? Go ahead and patrol. See what you can find. The Brits should not have that many more ships. The Tibetan Empire is gone. They're actually pretty divided in the UK. Now I save less than 30 ships now. <laughs> Looks like the Germans were using subs. And... Nice. Very good. Oh, it looks like we've encountered... Oh my goodness. Yeah, using our fleet, which got hit a little bit. We sunk an American carrier, five American destroyers, two allied light cruisers, and six planes. Not bad. Not bad at all. Go ahead and repair, though. I don't want you guys injured. I'm, like I said, paranoid about losing ships because it just takes way too long to make good ships. I, mean, I suppose I could probably experiment with battle cruisers. Actually, I've heard those are actually extremely useful, especially for the cost. So, uh, oh, we actually have another battleship. Another battleship with two light cruisers. Awesome. Actually, I'm going to just go ahead and 
throw you over here. Why did you all merge into one thing? Oh my goodness, why'd you all merge? Guys, guys, you're not supposed to merge like that. Let's get advanced landing craft. Oh, we actually have our two Polish divisions here. Nice, very nice. Uh, where do I throw you? Throw you to this group. And, and in exchange, you guys are the 40 with. Can we compare both? Yeah. So the one on the left is a Polish one. I don't know, the one on the right is a Polish one. Um, honestly, actually, these have more attack. These can move a little bit better, even though these guys are on the left are probably moving. I mean, they're pretty much the same. This has slightly less organization. Um, this slightly more supply use. Other than that, this has a little more piercing, a little more breakthrough, a little more defense, a little more hard attack and soft attack. Uses less, f uses less fuel. How does that work? Oh, you actually don't have the... Support rocket artillery, so that makes sense. Alright, so be it. So be it. That's fine. That is fine with me. Sunk a Japanese convoy, but no one cares. Good, and Tibet is gone, and I don't have to worry about most of the land there being occupied by someone else. How many divisions does Afghanistan have? They have... Okay. You should be more than enough to take the Afghani people out. Hopefully, the Russian invasion of, of Afghanistan won't go too badly. We're still trying to fight in Switzerland, but... I'm not really too concerned about it. Nice. And between this episode and the next, I will fix this mess. But you know what? Let's end our episode here. Because we've done a pretty good job. I mean, we've been beginning to think about the invasion of the UK. We've taken out quite a few areas within the Mediterranean. Mediterranean. We will finish up the Mediterranean with Crete and Cyprus in the next episode. And then, as well as Malta. Or not Malta, but Mallorca. And then... We will begin a mass planning of naval invasions into the central to northern UK. So with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow. And I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching.